In the world of high-speed photography, where milliseconds define whether you capture history or miss it completely, there has always been a certain electric tension in that breath before the shutter fires, that suspended moment when your subject is moving unpredictably, your finger hovers on the trigger, and you silently pray the camera's autofocus and sensor pipeline are fast enough to lock on without hesitation. Which is exactly why Sony's A9 series became legendary among sports shooters. Wildlife photographers, action filmmakers, and anyone obsessed with real-time responsiveness, blackout free shooting, and that almost telepathic connection between human anticipation and machine precision. But even icons must evolve. And while the original A9 and A9 II established Sony's dominance in the fast action mirrorless market, the Sony A9 III, despite being the world's first full-frame global shutter mirrorless camera and a groundbreaking technological leap, introduced its own set of challenges that split the community in ways no one expected, with its bold innovations both impressing and frustrating professionals who demanded perfection from a flagship alpha camera, so as anticipation builds for the rumored Sony A9 IV, Photographers worldwide are asking whether Sony's next flagship will finally deliver the perfect fusion of speed, resolution, dynamic range, and reliability without compromise. To understand that, we need to revisit where the A9 III struggled, because, although it was undeniably revolutionary with its global shutter eliminating distortion, banding, and rolling shutter entirely while delivering a jaw-dropping 120 frames per second burst rate, it also suffered from technical trade-offs, beginning with the forced base ISO of 250 that severely limited low-light performance, reduced shadow recovery capabilities, produced visible noise earlier than expected, and couldn't match the dynamic range of heavy hitters like the Nikon Z9, Canon R3, or even Sony's own A1. In certain situations, leaving many photographers feeling as though the price for global shutter technology, despite its historic advantages, was simply too high in terms of image quality. Then came the resolution issue, because while 24.6 MP was acceptable for sports journalism, wire service shooters, and photo editors who prioritize speed over file size, the lack of megapixel flexibility disappointed hybrid creators, event photographers, and wildlife shooters who frequently cropped deeply into their compositions, revealing another limitation that made some users hesitate, especially in a market where 40 MP plus sensors are becoming standard in high-end bodies. Adding to that was the EVF downgrade, where Sony chose to prioritize an ultra-smooth 240 Hz refresh rate but reduced pixel density so noticeably that many photographers found it harder to confirm critical focus during high-speed sequences, which directly contradicted the A9 series reputation for giving shooters absolute visual clarity in the heat of the moment. And if that wasn't enough, Sony's insistence on sticking with CFexpress Type-A cards, slower and more expensive than Type-B, made buffer clearing less efficient, forcing users to adjust their workflow and raising questions about whether the A9 III's $6,000 class price tag truly matched the real-world performance trade-offs imposed by first-generation global shutter technology. But even with these imperfections, the A9 III was never a failure, rather it was a pioneering milestone, a glimpse into the future of fast action photography that showcased Sony's willingness to risk everything in pursuit of innovation, setting the stage for what many hope will be a dramatically refined successor, the Sony A9 IV. And according to leaks, supply chain whispers, industry predictions, and early sensor technology patents, the A9 IV is shaping up to be a camera engineered to correct every shortcoming of its predecessor, beginning with a rumored brand new stacked. CMOS full-frame sensor somewhere between 33MP and 36MP, a sweet spot resolution that keeps file. Size is manageable while offering far more cropping headroom and image detail, bridging the gap between the A9-3's speed and the Sony A1's versatility, giving users the best of both worlds with improved flexibility for landscape editing, hybrid shooting workflows, advertising assignments, and high-detail commercial photography. And while some rumors suggest that the insane 120 frames per second burst rate may be reduced to a more practical 60 to 90 frames per second, inside, RS emphasized that the A9 IV is expected to sustain these speeds for much longer continuous bursts without choking the buffer, meaning real-world usability actually improves significantly, with photographers able to maintain raw shooting, 
full AF tracking, and consistent exposure performance across long action sequences, a far more meaningful upgrade than simply pushing headline numbers. Add to that the next-gen AI autofocus engine Sony is reportedly developing, with machine learning enhanced. Algorithms capable of recognizing not only faces, eyes, animals, birds, cars, motorcycles, aircraft, and trains, but also microsubjects like insects, sports objects like tennis balls, baseball bats, goalposts, and even contextual awareness such as predicting athlete movement or following a subject behind partial obstructions, making focusing feel smarter, faster, and more adaptive, almost like an invisible assistant anticipating every angle before the photographer shifts their frame, then. Comes video, where the A94 is rumored to deliver 6K or 6.2K open gate recording, unlocking countless possibilities for filmmakers, content creators, and social media editors who want to reframe for cinematic widescreens, vertical TikTok or Instagram reels, square posts, and documentary-style multicrop edits without losing detail, an absolute game-changer for hybrid shooters balancing photojournalism, sports videography, event filmmaking, and commercial production, with the A94 potentially. Becoming a new weapon for creators craving high-detail footage with global shutter advantages like zero-motion skew, perfect panning, and flawless LED flicker control. But the most intriguing element lies beneath the surface, in Sony's sensor division, which recently announced a 105MP global shutter sensor called the IMX927 designed for industrial use, but demonstrating beyond any doubt that Sony has solved some of the deepest engineering challenges that have historically limited global shutter. Sensors, dynamic range, noise control, pixel miniaturization, and readout efficiency, meaning that even though this exact 105MP chip won't appear in a mirrorless camera, the underlying architecture, noise reduction pipeline, and pixel optimization technologies could easily be integrated into the A94 sensor, giving us the first global shutter full-frame camera with genuinely clean ISO 100, high dynamic range, improved color depth, and massively reduced read noise, transforming global shutter. From a fun experiment into a true professional standard that eliminates compromises entirely, and considering the fierce competition from Canon's upcoming R1 successor, Nikon's expected Z9 Z9 II Panasonic's GH7 class hybrid innovations, and the general 2025 mirrorless camera arms race, Sony cannot afford to play it safe. So the A94 must represent a major leap in hardware design, not just a minor firmware level refresh, which leads us to the ultimate wishlist from photographers, lower base. ISO back to 100, cleaner shadows for post-production flexibility, a high-resolution EVF that maintains full pixel density at 240Hz with no drop in clarity, a switch to CFX Express Type B for faster, cheaper storage, a substantially larger buffer, smarter real-time AI tracking that understands subject behavior rather than simply detecting objects, improved ergonomics including a deeper grip and refined button layout, a new thermal system to support long video sessions, and of course the polished. Intuitive responsiveness the A9 series is famous for, and if Sony manages to deliver even half of these upgrades, the A9 IV could instantly become the dream camera for sports shooters, wildlife photographers, wedding professionals, action filmmakers, journalists, and high-speed creative storytellers who demand absolute reliability. Ultimately, the question surrounding the Sony A9 IV isn't whether it will be fast, Sony already dominates speed. It's whether it will be balanced, refined, and trustworthy enough to redefine what a global shutter camera should be, combining effortless speed with uncompromised image quality, low ASO clarity, advanced AI intelligence, and the kind of robust handling that makes the camera feel like an extension of your instincts rather than a gadget you're fighting against, which is the true hallmark of a flagship professional body. So as we wait for Sony's next big announcement, the excitement isn't just about specs or leaked numbers, it's about the possibility that the A9 IV my TB the first camera to finally merge next-gen speed with next-gen quality in a way that reshapes the entire industry and sets a new gold standard for action photography and global shutter technology, leaving everyone wondering what features you hope Sony includes when this highly anticipated flagship finally breaks cover.